Israeli police have attacked anti-government rallyers in the city of Jerusalem, Al Quds. <laughs> Protesters gathered outside Netanyahu's residence to condemn his policies and call for his resignation. Scuffles broke out after several people were arrested. A similar event was held in Tel Aviv. The demonstrations came just three days after Parliament approved a ban on protests. Israelis have been staging street rallies over the past months to protest soaring unemployment, a hike in COVID-19 infections and a return of related restrictions. Adding to anti-regime sentiments are the corruption charges facing the Prime Minister. Netanyahu won on trial in May for bribery, fraud and breach of trust. He denies any wrongdoing. Uh, from Ontario, let's bring in uh, Jason Aruha, a political commentator. Good to have you with us, Jason. So tell us uh, your opinion of what's been going on. Uh, the Israeli rallies have been out in the streets uh, with their anti-government rallies, and this has been going on for quite uh, a while. I think it's fairly clear at this point that Israel is in a political crisis. The mainstream political apparatus of the country is not functioning in a way that would facilitate the ongoings of the daily government business and the functioning of society. But basically, what we have is a collection of problems all manifesting themselves at once. We have the ongoing corruption of Netanyahu, uh, which is going further and further into the courts. More evidence of his wrongdoings is coming out. And we add on top of this the very tense COVID situation where many people feel that they don't need to wear a mask or take any kind of simple safety precaution uh, for uh, uh, various reasons, including many of them bordering on conspiracy theories. Add on top of that the ongoing unemployment crisis inside the country, and you've got nearly a perfect storm for the destabilization of government. Uh, at one time, uh, there were several papers written that many countries can survive only two crises at once. And once that hits three, it becomes a, a very severely high risk for destabilization or even outright collapse. Now, I, I doubt that Israel is facing any kind of serious physical collapse, but I think that there's been a very high discredit of Israeli society itself and the political establishment inside the eyes of the Israeli people and many of the people watching around the world. And I think that this makes this a very dangerous uh, situation when uh, the giants or the, there's problems inside of Israel as things get moved around and there's chaos, Palestine tends to suffer even more, even problems that they are not even responsible for or have no direct connection to. Okay, I appreciate your comments. Jason Ruhepolil, commentator, joining me from Ontario.